Nicole Smith from Blood and Iron here today with Kyle Griswold from the Phoenix Society, our very special guest. Winner of multiple sword and buckler tournaments, he's here to give us a little lesson. Hello, like she said, I'm Kyle Griswold of the Phoenix Society, the Mort Howe chapter. Today we're going to be talking about the six plays for Blignitzer involving his sword and buckler. Uh, the six plays in Lignitzer are, by some they, people look at that and they think that it is an underdeveloped system, but in fact we're going to break down how there are actually deeper concepts within the six plays. So I, Nicole and I will both enter with a cut, an overhaul to one another's heads. I will wind my left pommel underneath to my left and try to attempt to thrust her in the face. Nicole displaces the thrust by pushing my sword off to the side. I wind the cut to the other side of her head. Nicole strikes a true edge strike to my head. I receive her strike with an underhowl. I strike Nicole in the face. Nicole receives my strike with her buckler. At this point, both of our bucklers are met. I leave the bind and I strike Nicole to her left leg. Nicole will throw a strike to my head, which I will defend with a vexel howl, a rising false edge cut. I will turn that into a true edge strike to the right side of her head. I will then attempt to wind the thrust into her face, meeting her shields, stepping off, cutting the leg. I will attack Nicole with a middle howl to the left side of her head. She will defend with both the sword and buckler. I will throw another middle howl to the opposite side of her head, which she again defends with the sword and buckler. Now I will throw a schnappen true edge attack to Nicole's head. She defends. I now have both her sword and her shield pinned against my shield, allowing me to freely thrust her abdomen. I attempt to attack Nicole's left side with a plunging strike. Recognizing that I cannot complete the attack because Nicole has defended against the thrust, I leave the bind to attack Nicole to her right side. After Nicole has defended against that attack, I meet her shield with my own and finish with a strike to her leg. This is the sixth play and final play, and this is how you actually end someone rightly. Nicole will attempt to strike an overhaul to my head. Gripping my sword with my shield hand, I will defend against her strike, reach underneath her shield, pull to my right, and end her rightly. Well, our thanks to Kyle for joining us today and showing us a little bit of Lichnitzer. We hope you had fun, enjoyed yourself. I absolutely did, thank you for having me. It is a real pleasure. I always enjoy talking about the early sword and buckler medieval sources. I know a lot of people who are practicing sword and buckler are mostly focusing on the later Italian sources, but in reality, there is actually a lot to learn from the early medieval sources, and I'm, I hopefully people who are watching this can take some, some a little glimpse of what there is to offer. Well, thank you for bringing it to us today, and for now, we'll end this rightly. Kyle, go over there and take a selfie with a mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs>